Back in the days when the United States had the ability to launch their own people into space, uh, gas stations had service attendants that would pump the gas for you, and ballroom dance studios taught cha-cha as one, two, cha-cha-cha. A common telephone was the pulse dial, where you dial a number. There is instructions to use this. You can download from the internet this two-page document. We will not go through this, or at least I do not have to, because I'm old enough to remember when Star Trek, the original series, was on television, prime time, and none of the episodes were reruns. Okay, now let's make a phone call. First, we pick up the receiver and dial the number. Hello, Gwen. This is Michael. I'm calling you to say that you are wrong. Pole stylers, pole stylers do work even when we're 18% into the 21st century. What do you mean, sometimes? They work all the time. Well, it does now. Anyway, okay. Well, well, just to make the call short, um, can you do me a favor? Can you persuade AT&T to retain the pulse dialer capabilities? Because I do not want to surrender my telephone to a museum. Probably not. Okay. Say again. Um, well, I'm calling on the pulse dialer itself. Well, I mean, it, well, you know, it takes a long time to dial, but, well, it, it works. Well, can you tell them to keep the capabilities in my area? Oh, gosh. Okay. I thought you could do everything. Okay. All right. Well, we'll work on our right turns on ballroom dancing tonight, okay? Yes. All right. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. And then we hang up the phone. Now, some of you are saying, wait a minute, um, I don't believe you. Well, look, I'm not, I didn't do a time travel thing. Here is the December issue of IEEE Spectrum Magazine. So if any of you have doubts about uh, manipulating the space-time continuum. All right. And next to other stuff. For these uh, telephones, they're made by the day's bell system property, and they're not for sale. Well, obviously, here it is. Um, what I did is that I took the time to, you know, take apart this phone so we can see the inside. This particular model is like a multi-line business phone. Um, I just happen to have this thing, but I end up... But it's got, you know, pretty much the same components. You have this box and a real bell when you call the phone, the dial mechanism, the hang-up hook. You know, the idea is, is that in those days, you would hang up the phone or pick up the phone. You know, it's not like where you have, like, a phone of nowadays where you can, like, pick it up, but then hang it up will wear on the wall. It doesn't make any sense. Those... That's where those terms come from. Another thing about it is that these, these, the, the components of all this are extremely rugged. It can probably withstand a nuclear blast from 50 yards. 
What I've done here is that I've zoomed in on the phone so we can see the bell in action. Anyway, I call myself and so that's what these telephones did. They did not play music, they did not buzz, they did not vibrate. They only did one thing, that is ring a bell or bells.